All right, here we are. I'm getting ready to pull the motor out of this car. We, uh, I talked to an engine builder. We're gonna have it rebuilt and make it faster and dump a little bit of money into this thing, try to be a little more competitive. Um, what you're gonna see today is me pulling the motor out. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. There's not a whole lot that actually holds one of these in. So um, <clears throat> try to get this done before the Chiefs game starts today. Um, Pardon my terrible editing skills, but still kind of a work in progress. Uh, if you're stumbled across my content, I uh, would appreciate a sub. Uh, you can also catch me on Twitch TV at pigpin13, P-I-G-P-I-N-1-3. Uh, do a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything. Do some, some simulator stuff, uh, farm sim, uh, do iRacing, and I also do a little bit of uh, Escape from Tarkov, some first-person shooter uh, escape and evasion so so come check me out and then uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started all right first things first you gotta get the fluids out of this thing I mean, gotta clean up my garage because I stumble over shit so we're gonna drain the radiator and uh, drain all the oil out of it and start pulling stuff off Lots of wire cutters. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, nice. Mitch. Now I know what you're thinking, Joe, that's a lot of antifreeze hitting the ground, and antifreeze is very toxic. Wrong, that's a lot of water hitting the ground. Uh, we're not allowed to run antifreeze in our cars, so because of that reason, because radiators tend to blow up when they get hot, and uh, so they just let us run water. So, no harm, no foul. Now I just gotta walk around on a wet floor, kinda sucks. Hmm. All right, next portion of this is getting the oil out of it. So, that little drain plug right there. Scratch it, it's not that one. All right, next portion of this is getting the oil out of it. <clears throat> that drain plug right there. It's a crappy wiring job. Probably gonna fire my electrician. This thing holds nine quarts of oil. Just to give you an idea, that's like more than two gallons. Hopefully this drain pan holds all of it. If not, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up. 
Hopefully there's nine quarts of oil in it and not I did something wrong. <clears throat> Here's that. And she's draining. While that's happening, I'm gonna start tearing apart the rest of this thing. Get the exhaust off of it. Hold on, let me get this thing straight out here. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting the exhaust off of it. And uh, some of the plumbing out of the way, starter's gotta come out. And uh, here we go. The weather's changing right now, so I got that crap in my throat. It makes me have to clear my throat constantly. I apologize about that. Okay. So, I need washers. Gonna have to run in the store real quick. Which, no big deal. I just gotta unload my cherry picker, and I also gotta pick up my daughter. It's putting me on our time crunch because uh chase game starts at noon man and it's like it's like almost 10 o'clock so gotta hurry okay got the kid picked up bought some bolts <sighs> continue Oil's out and water's out. Now it's just a matter of unhooking everything and start pulling. I'm going to go start with the distributor and work on the exhaust. Get the starter off. Go from there. Set that out of the way. I need a 5 sixteenths. <clears throat> okay. Hard stuff out of the way. Now it's just the little tedious shit. Getting the exhaust off of it, getting the starter out of it. Uh, I'll try to set you guys where I can, you can kind of see what's going on. This is the fun part because you can only get a wrench so far into this thing. Can't get a socket on it. And you're only turning like half a turn at a time. Kind of sucks. These thin exhaust bolts have a tendency to seize up in the head. If you're not careful, you'll break them. This be a, then it turns into kind of a giant pain in the ass.
one of the things I'd like to change on this car uh, for next year is the exhaust. This is the exhaust header, right? A little bitty short thing. Uh, they make them to where at this elbow here, they turn 90 degrees and go straight back. Makes them a little bit longer and it uh, changes the sound of them and it also gives you a little bit more uh, horsepower on the high end, up in the higher RPMs. Unfortunately, that's like money I don't have because I don't have a sponsor. So hopefully save a little bit of money this winter and try to get those uh, upgraded along with the uh, motor. But we'll see for now. Um, <clears throat> once again, if you made it this far into the video, uh, please sub to me. That'd be great. That'd, that'd help me out more than anything. Uh, also, you can catch me on Twitch TV. Uh, Pigpen13, P-I-G-P-I-N-1-3. Back at it. Now, another little fun fact about owning a race car. The oil in a race car is super, super important. And on your modern car or truck, whatever, it takes six quarts. And you change it about every three, 5,000 miles. Depends on what you got in. If you're in synthetic, you can go longer than that, like 10,000 miles or whatever. But <clears throat> with a race car, due to the stress the motor's under, we have to change our oil after about every three to four races, depending. And that can get really pricey because it's a special oil. It's 2030, or excuse me, 2050 oil, weight oil. It's a synthetic and it's really, really fucking expensive. It's uh, about $12 a quart, and my motor holds nine quarts. Do the math, that's over, you know, over 120 bucks <clears throat> every time you change the oil. And that is all my used oil just from this year. You know, take that stuff in to a local auto parts store, get it recycled, and buy more oil, I suppose. <laughs> so, good times. There's nothing cheap about racing. Now, we're going to start on uh, unhooking some of the plumbing on this side. So something I've got, there we go, something I've got on my motor that a lot of your Chevrolets don't have is this filter relocation deal. Uh, basically, it plums it up to the firewall. That way it uh, is out of the way because if not, that filter would interfere with this motor mount right here. So you got to buy this special little adapter and a bunch of hose, bring it up here, and loop it around, make it look cool. So there's that. Now I've got to get got to get those lines drained, start draining, get the fuel line off of it, and continue moving forward. So my helper has shown up. She's going to help me do some stuff. Hey, for one, I didn't have breakfast. You didn't have breakfast, that's yeah. true. So, she's had her breakfast, now she's going to help. She's got to find her something to do. Eat. Put her to work taking the starter off. Eat. I can't get the thing out. I'm stuck. You got it. Did you get it loose? Yeah, it's halfway loose. Did you get it off? Not yet. I've been turning it. That's fine. You're doing a good job. I'm still all dirty and everything, but I don't care. Well, you're doing a good job, dude. Here, let me help you out. For on a try. You, no, you did a good job. Now, I need you to get another wrench. It's the one that says 10 mm on it. Hmm. No, it's in the okay. toolbox over there. Nope, 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 nope. Not that one. This one right here. Uh, hey, that one. Oh, yeah, that one. Please talk correctly. Don't use your nose and ass. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you okay? There's a camera rolling. Why yep. do you do that? Oh. <laughs> we totally got that on. It's going to be on YouTube, dude. I don't care if I bring a or not. Yeah, you do care. All right. You got that going on? Yes. All right. All right moving on to this side. Uh, yes, I know, dear. So Megan got all the wiring off my starter for me, so I can get the starter out. She's a lot of help.
Now we gotta take a little bit of a break because. I know you're taking a break. No, not necessarily taking a break. We gotta get the engine puller in here. And it's out there. There's not a lot of room to bring it in. So you're gonna hear me cuss a lot. Actually, you're not gonna hear me cuss a lot because we're going on a break. Be back shortly. Okay, got it in here. Now, for the fun part. There's like eight more bolts in this thing's gonna come out. So I'm gonna have to screw this jack to get it to work. <clears throat> so at the end of the last year, that engine puller that I got over there, that engine hoist, uh, it went to level on a farm. I don't have, as you can tell, there's not a whole bunch of room in here and I just wanted it out of my way and my neighbor, who just so happens to be my nephew, uh, <clears throat> I sent it over to his farm to stay in his garage and uh, that way it would be out of the weather, um, wouldn't have to worry about the casters going bad because they're sitting down in the mud and uh, I called him yesterday and said, hey man, I need to pick my engine hoist. <clears throat> he says, okay, meet me over there and it's outside in the mud. Kind of defeated the whole purpose of sitting it over there in the per first place. I could have done that here at my house. But you know what? It, it was nice of him to let me uh, use his shop as much as he does. So I'm, I'm not complaining, but I wish he would have called me first. So there's that. All right, let's get back to it. I'm going to get under this thing. Yep. I don't get bonked in the head. Don't get bonked in the head. I did. Go ahead. Hurry up. Chop, chop. We gotta go. And now, Chiefs game starts in 30 minutes, bro. What? We gotta watch Chiefs game. I love you. Mm -hmm. Which way do I turn it? I it, does it, it go, on. does it go on there? Yes. Okay, well, hold on a second. I think so. I may have peed a little bit. Uh, let's hold the fucking transmission in place. Not a goddamn thing. yell for help. Ooh, loading. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. You want me to jack while you maneuver? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, I don't know. Where'd your helper go? Did we? She's mm -hmm. camping. Camping? Yeah, just camping out on the couch. Seriously, I didn't see her when I walked past the uh, computer though. I gotta figure out some way to get away from the transmission. And I can't get away from the transmission. Do we have to pull the fan off the front of it? No, it should. Well, that's the crap part is the that's all my wheels point. on the front of this thing don't articulate. So. Oh, gotcha. So we are kind of set at a bad angle, eh? Possibly, yes. And I got nothing to set underneath in the slider. Well, I do. I have a special tool just for this situation. Floor jack? Nope. <laughs> no, the floor jack's on the transmission place. The motivator. The motivator, man. Right? Sir, say all that pressure, of course, is on the. Uh... Oh, 
So, as far as that's going to go. So we have to get a jack stand now. Watch your toes. Give me a pump or two. Okay, hold on, hold on. scary part as if it wasn't all scary to begin with. Is the, the car sitting on the... Okay, it's out, it's sitting right there, not in the car. Now it's a, uh, Jesus, the lighting in this, there we go. Try not to show my wife's car. All right, that concludes today's instructional video on how Joe removes engine from race car. And the cool part, look at the time, 10 minutes before the game starts. We still get to watch the Chiefs game. Uh, I've got like minimal stuff to do on this thing. I'm going to pull the clutch off the rear end of it here because it's still on the motor. Put it on the jack stand or on the uh, engine stand and uh, start pulling some of the accessories off of it so it can go to the uh, 
Man, that lighting. That lighting. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Minimal stuff left to do, and uh, we'll get her uh, motivated. Get her headed towards the uh, engine shop. Hopefully, uh, save up some cash. Get this thing built properly. Get it making horsepower. Get it reliable. And um, have some fun next year. So, uh, stay tuned. Please sub to my channel here. Check me out on Twitch. It's pigpin13, P-I-G-P-I-N-1-3. <clears throat> uh, more videos to follow. We'll see what happens. Thanks, guys. So, I want to introduce you to my new friend. His name's Bill. And he takes care of all the smaller uh, insects around here. And raccoons and possums and whatever else he can eat. He has quite the colony going on here. He's fucking up my bush. But yeah. I'd stick my hand up there and show you how big he actually is because he's a monster. But, um, yeah. Fuck that.